Barney the Bear learns a lesson. The time has come for you and me to visit Paulet Island where we can see what adventures have happened to Barley Bear. Let's start the journey. I'll take you there. Barley Bear was in a mood. His mum had sent him to gather food, ready for the winter's sleep, when the forest would be frosty and the snow lay deep. Barley! His mum called again. You must come home when I tell you when. You're really being a naughty bear. Don't you sulk, I just don't care. I'm tired of being bossed around. Barley stamped his paws with a thud on the ground. Young man, that's enough of that. Misbehave again and I'll fetch your dad. Barley thought he'd better run and follow home behind his mum. To have tea and see his dad, mum was sure to tell him he'd been bad. Why be naughty? Mr Bear asked. You were only asked to come home at last. Rules of the cave you must obey as they will keep you safe each day. Barley listened to his dad but was thinking about the fun he had. Staying out later every day with his friend Jack for one more play. Household chores were not much fun when there were friends to meet out in the sun. Digging on the shore and hide and seek, playing with friends was such a treat. Barley's dad continued to say he must help with chores now every day. Growing up is hard to do when such a lot is expected of you. Now Barley being a clever lad nodded his head as he looked at dad. I'll behave from now on, young Barley said as he kissed his parents and went to bed. The very next morning, Barley went on his way to meet Jack the dog for a day full of play. He was looking forward to seeing his friend. Barley did not want the daytime to end. All day long, they chased and played. They splashed in the lake and strolled in the glades. But the evening arrived far too soon. The sun had gone, in the sky was the moon. Oh, can't we stay out longer? Barley asked Jack. Oof, no, my good friend, we must go back. Our parents will worry, will worry, but also be cross. And then our freedom, I fear, would be lost. But Barley did not go home when he knew he should. It was far too late when he left the dark wood. And rushing along, he did not see a big hole in his way covered in leaves. Barley cried as he fell down and down, finally landing with a bump on the ground. He looked up and started to cry, for all he could see was the black starry sky. Hunters had dug this deep hidden pit, wanting to catch forest animals in it. And now poor Barley had been caught. He should have done as his mum had taught. Help! he cried. Help! once more. Barley sobbed alone on the cold, damp floor. Oh, why didn't I listen to what my dad said? I could be tucked up or snug in my bed. Barley realised he'd been a foolish bear to ignore cave rules without a care. He felt ashamed and very sad that he had disobeyed his mum and dad. As he sat alone, more tears were shed with scary thoughts running through his young head. What if I'm stuck here when the hunters come back? I'll never again see my mum and my dad. But just then, he heard a shout. Barley Bear Cub, are you about? It was his dad. He was so relieved he'd soon be out of these damp, cold leaves. Dad, I'm here. I have fallen down a very large pit in the ground. Mr Bear rushed to the edge to see his young son Barley surrounded by leaves. The hole was so deep he could not stretch his arms and paws his little boy to fetch. But luckily all their friends were there to help him rescue the little bear. Pulling together the way that friends do, they managed to pull Barley through. Out of the hole and to his dad's side where a bear hug was waiting with arms open wide. There are times when we can all be naughty, you know, but this is not at all the right way to go. And when in trouble, it is nice to say that friends will help you to find the right way. Later, when Barley was tucked up in bed, he looked at his mum and dad and said, I'm very sorry for being so bad. I promise to be good now, mum and dad. I now see why rules are in place. They really do help keep us safe. 
I hope that Barley does be good, for I'd like to see him in Paulet Wood, playing with his friends and having fun, but only after he has helped his mum. And there we must leave Barley once more, until we again walk through the bear's cave door. <laughs>